Hey everybody, welcome back to Mortal Shell. Uh, we just unlocked this new weapon by approaching this book, and then we had a challenge. We basically fought the guy from the very beginning, but he was using this weapon, and then now we have it. What's interesting is it doesn't look like we can just swap between them whenever we want. Uh, we'd come back here, equip the Hallowed Sword, and move on. So we're gonna check out this new area and try this weapon, see how it feels. And then uh, I'm going to really try to get good at uh, parrying stuff. Now, the way I understand it, I should actually just double check this. Hopefully we don't get hit here, but I might. Right here. The seal requires resolve to harness such an infusion. Giving your parry the ability to leave an enemy vulnerable, vulnerable to an empowered repose. Now, I don't know if we can... I don't know if we can parry without resolve, or if we only get that extra benefit from having... Hello. From having um, resolve built up. Okay, this is actually kind of nice for this big AoE swing. Not the play. Too late. Way too late. Okay. Whoa. is surprising me too. Okay. Way too early. There we go. Each of these guys not only have unique uh, move sets and stuff, But they also, um, like, the speed at which they attack really throws you off. I love it. I mean, I hate it, but I love it. Ooh. Who's... Ooh, is this another shell? Make offering. Acquired glimpse of affection, foundry stone. Whoa, whoa! And we're on fire. Whoa, what the fuck? Like specters. Messiah planted his seeds and left. They seek a utopia which cannot exist. Charmed and forgotten, choking on the nectar of false gods. How high and mighty will they be when they consume this poison? A couple references to, like, the nectar 
that we're supposed to bring that other guy. Do I have anything I can eat in here? I don't think so. We can use this. What's this thing? Tattered vestment. Use one more time to reveal further detail about this item. Let me notice when we pick this up. Okay. So, never mind. We can switch weapons using these things. However, notice uh, we don't have one for the other weapon. Cool. Very cool. I still think that these effigies are gonna are going to uh, transform us into the other shell. The shell that we're currently using is probably our or is the one that we've upgraded a bit. So I think we should stick with it. We're getting actually not bad at this too. Okay. We need to build up some resolve here and then go for some parries to heal. Otherwise, we're going to be in big trouble. Well, speaking of trouble. some resolve built off that so from the best i can gather the resolve does build up just by hitting and damaging guys but if you don't keep attacking scripture of repent if you don't keep attacking then the resolve bar goes down let's try this next parry lights enemy on fire on success okay Oh, cool. That must do some additional damage, I guess, but... Maybe good to put on some of the bigger guys. Stricken with all the ills that consumed his kin, Imrod, last of the indecipherable, dragged himself before the immolation. He witnessed, as you will one day, the consecrated living flame always becoming, always feeding, as its form flakes away in torrents of ash. So, I imagine if we wanted to switch back to the other weapon, we have to acquire the tattered vestment of that weapon. And then, I guess if we really wanted to, we could go back and see if it's in that statue. Whoa. Monument of Ash. So it looks like I can still parry, um, but I, I probably won't be able to get the benefit of the healing without resolve. Okay. Wow. Okay, fine. That's fine. That's fine. We are learning that new weapon at the start. And uh, that was going to be tough slugging going through there with no real healing or anything. So, Let's see how this all works now. You're awake. Good. Oh, so it is back in there. Please. Take this mask. It's not unlike my own. You can come back to Sister Janessa at the cost of all your glimpses. Flesh. Beyond life and death, where spirits pass across the threshold. But your spirit is bound here, unwilling to go on. Perhaps it has an obligation left to fulfill. 
I'll sip that tar. All right. Let's take this back. Some rotten food, I'll take anything. Look at the range on this bad boy. Oh, he interrupted it. Whoops. It'd be kind of nice if the cooldown was decreased if you let go of it. Oh, that windup is so huge. It's gonna take a bit to get used to. All right. And that's the worst feeling when you use up all your stamina and you can't do anything about it. Just hear that thing triggering every time you can't block or every time you can't parry something. A bit disconcerting. Not sure I love this weapon yet. Oh, that's kind of nice though. my beloved. Oh no. Sure, I could block it. I'd rather just take the pain to the face. Thanks. Way too early. Ooh. Now, I don't have that weapon ability here, I gotta remember. Okay. The parries are weird, man. I'm still struggling. His shield's gone. <clears throat> the guitar. We're up to six of those. Ooh, heavy breathing. Portal 
token. Thanks. Let's throw these in. Now we checked down before. Let's just see what this is. Oh, it's locked. I wonder if these... Like the order of those uh, glyphs or the glyphs themselves actually mean something. Man, see, like, kind of parry is weird. There we go. Whoa, okay, okay. Unblockable. Okay, we're gonna have to really watch our stamina here. are so synchronized. down open iron maiden quenching acid a rare acid used to enhance weapons and yeah, now we're talking there's the mask this uses resolve um don't really want to do that Moldering Mace, Tarnished Seal, Foundry Stone, Quenching Acid. Thalgrim is a crumbling remnant of a fledgling kingdom. Amongst the ruin, few weapons remain that aren't chipped and rusted. Yet by some miracle, this Quenching Acid restores them. Okay. So perhaps back at that workbench. working on parrying without resolve here. I really want to... Oh, too early. really want to get an honest answer. Hardened instead. Good. Too early, maybe? Okay. Oh, there we go. So yes, we can. I don't know if the window is the same or not. If, how much resolve do we have? Just one. Bell. 
used in Vesper hymns and rituals. Okay, it's consumable. Ember sent bonus to tar found for six minutes. Okay, so we farm with it. I assume we don't want to jump down there. It takes less resolve to stomach the putrid item for those familiar with eating garbage. Okay, so now it uses up less resolve. What is this? Whoa! Hello! <laughs> okay. I kind of think I'm going to go I'm going to go back to this one. Just faster attacks here since we don't know what we're dealing with. Throw in any direction? Yep. Okay. 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 We're gonna die here, aren't we? Yep. We burnt to death. Okay, now we know what to expect back there, though. That's pretty cool. Feel like we might be in a in a pretty challenging area. Why don't we do this? Let's um Mind you, we have a bunch of tar down there now. Let's check what's up here. Oh. Oh, okay. That's the way that we came. I thought we came in through um, something slightly different. I want to check that workbench. Oh my god. Much more confident with this weapon, that's for sure. See, like, these guys that we're running into now, we're, like, laughing. There's another one behind me, isn't there? uses up like one and a half resolve bars, but it's super powerful. Maybe two even. Oh. 
Yeah. Two. Nailed it. So we'll definitely go back into that other area at some point. But I'm thinking that maybe it makes sense to kind of at least clear out and get to know this main zone. That's great. Wouldn't. Hello. I really wish that I had something I could toss here for some type of aggro. Hello. Got me like, maybe he, uh, got me from behind, I think. Shine. What could go wrong? Small amount of resolve. See, now we have another little tunnel to who knows where. Is almost exactly like the beginning. Hmm. Does this place have a name or is it still the same deal? Wait a second. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, this is where we fought the thing. There were the there were the tunnels on either side. Yeah, right. Cool. Okay. So from here, let's head back into our little safe hut here. And Yeah, so she just shows up wherever. Yeah, look at this. Okay. Oh, and we can equip from here. So these all represent different weapons then, and these probably hints as to where to find them. Let me see if we can chat with this guy again. Listen to the old prisoner. You. You should be dead. Solomon. It's only his face and his form stretched across your <laughs> frame. Of course, your silence gives it away. 
He always had too much to say, babbling on and on, incessantly. His words wound into such impossible, staggering formations, often contradicting himself beautifully. I do miss him. Unfortunately, my dear brother, spent too much time beneath those infinite golems. He promised to turn tar into true nectar, and he succeeded. I witnessed the world birthed from the fires of heaven. I watched as it decayed into this wretched place. Such a gift. But when the vision ended, he stared at me with revulsion. He say brother? Now I'm wondering, I just had a thought. So these are weapons. Uh, we're going to go down to the other things. Oh, here we go. Washing a weapon with acid increases its strength. Okay. I think that would be worthwhile. Weapon damage increased. That might actually help us deal with that other area a little bit more. So we need to find more acid. Molten spikes, tools, solemn offerings, forbidden offerings. Upgrade for the tarnished seal. Oh, I see. Okay. So the tarnished seal has its own type of upgrades. The ballista zooka. Don't know even what that is. As its own thing. And then if we equip this. Yeah, cool. Okay. Okay. And we've got this foundry stone. Seems to be missing an ignition source. And then we could apply acid here as well. Okay. Was one meant to alight a smoldering thing. So LB and RB gain enough resolve from attacking enemies to activate a powerful weapon ability. Yeah, so we probably light them on fire would be my guess. Maybe equipped with this new info, we can go back to that area rather oftenly. Now I'm wondering if these... might represent oh here's Haros if we wanted yeah so these represent where we can find the shells and the ones up top represent where we can find the weapons so this one's through the bats This one's heading into that tower area. He's sitting behind something. Okay. Well, I'm not sure where we want to go next, but I think maybe we'll head into the um, the bats area. Sip this and you'll see. At least scope out this whole zone before going through any of those uh, crazy doors. But who knows? We might end up somewhere we don't want to be. Let's see. Talking to NBC, we gain a segment of resolve. Gains resolve when being struck while hardened. I think that would be a really good one to go for. We need five more glimpses and 500 more tar to see what we have here. Glimpse of affection. I don't think this is going to give us all the tar that we need. Okay, so let's take a break here. When we come back, uh, I think we'll keep exploring this area, see where it leads us. And uh, yeah. Wish me luck. Bye for now.